Welcome to the Composite Panel Builder demonstration of the arc wall projection utility. Now this utility will create a row of panels along the arc based on the center lines of the reveals from the architectural elevation. Now to get started what we'll do is draw a polyline connecting these center lines of the reveals. And we'll use that polyline and move it up above so we can see it clearer. Now what we'll do is uh, run an, a utility called automate wall joints against that and create the plan view. There's the fasteners based on the center lines of all the reveals. That's where they actually connect and intersect. So what I want to do now is use the utility called arc wall projection. Select this select the arc that I want to project onto, decide whether or not they're curved or flat faced panels, and there they go. Now what also I can do with this uh, projection is create the elevation view of these panels simply by using another utility called project sides. And then I select the plan view first and then the section view. Fills in the grid and then we have a numbering sequence automatically projected which says W3 but I'm going to change it to W1 and start with the first one being W1. Now an issue that you can clearly see here is that this uh, distance between point A and point B is linear which is this distance here and it's not true to life because the actual distance is the distance along this arc length. So to fix that what we'll do is use a utility called quick links plans and, and sections and then take this yellow line which is the detail and then attach it to these two panels. Now what we'll do now is see what that looks like and before we go over there we're going to put the dimension on here so we have a clear image of, of what we're looking for. 20 1 16th inches. So let's build panels W08 and W07 and we'll use our draw flat panel um, builder utility and we're looking for W07 and W08. Here they are, and let's draw them. And there's our 20 and 1 16th inch. So it knows that it's the arc. Now what else it does? It defaults to drawing the returns on those curved edges as a separate entity, and uh, d designs it this way. Now let's uh, go back to the panel that we were just playing in. This is the section. Now what we want to do is edit this and change its properties so that we're not drawing an arc piece, a separate piece, but we're actually v-notching the edge of that. And let's just save that and just rerun those two panels again. And it's smart enough that it remembers what you just did, so uh, it's going to stay on 7 and then let us draw them again. Now we have uh, a notched edge and it projected that out. And we can also control how much the return uh, gets gets displayed too. Like, um, we have it set to one inch right now but we could have went to one and a half or two. So that's how we project walls using the arc wall projection utility. Uh, next time we'll discuss the uh, how to do columns. Alright, till later. Thanks.